Hi guys, we are in Douay. We've been here for two days and we have each spent $15.75 per day. Douay is the first city we've been to in Myanmar and it is absolutely amazing. Go ahead and check out our video and when we come back, we're gonna tell you guys how you can travel for just as cheap. Hi guys. What? <laughs> Shh, I got it. Okay, I'll check out. <laughs> been to in Myanmar and we've absolutely like... <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do it? It's hot. This is the first this city we've been. <laughs> We came to Douai from the small village of Mita. Um, we had to wake up at about 5 in the morning um, and take the public bus to get to Douai. When we got there, we had a short walk to our hotel, which thankfully let us check in really early. Uh, the hotel was called Best House Guest House. Uh, it was quite nice. It was actually the cheapest we could find, um, and it was still $18. After we got settled in, we spent 5,000 jop for our motorbike, and then we set off to the beach. For both of our days in Douai, we went to the DDPC shopping center, and behind that, there is a night market with a bunch of different stalls, a bunch of different food. And most of the meals that we saw were about 1,000 jot each. And then you can get many different snacks like samosas or rotis for about 100 to 500 jot per piece. There's not really a whole lot to see in the main city of Douai. Uh, most of the time you guys are going to want some sort of transportation uh, to go out and visit these pagodas and these beaches on your own. Uh, most of the places we went to took about a half hour of driving, um, but along the way there was a lot of really, really cool things to see, whether that was a smaller pagoda, a market, um, or just like an interesting village. Compared to other Southeast Asian countries, Myanmar has very few tourists. 
of those tourists, not that many ever make it to the south. Very few of them are like young, white backpackers, um, especially ones from America. Um, so we get some very special treatment. <laughs> Imagine you're in your home and you see a giraffe walk past you. You'd be like, hey, check out that giraffe. That's what it's like here. And like you'd be waving to the giraffe and stuff like that. And then the giraffe would like turn and look at you and smile and like wave back. That's what it's like for them, I think. Yeah. <laughs> we first got here and we were walking to our hotel with our big bags. We would be on what seemed like an empty street and all of a sudden we hear this, hello. And we turn around and look and like some five stories up, there'd be a little kid waving to us. Mm -hmm. And of course, as soon as he said that, it was like, all these people appeared and wanted to say hi to us. Like we would walk literally right in front of a restaurant on our way to our hotel. The whole restaurant would just like stop what they're doing, stop eating. Just everyone's like tapping each other, like pointing at us. It's insane. It's crazy. In conclusion, prepare yourself to take a lot of selfies. And when I say a lot, I mean a <laughs> lot of selfies. Also, all of that being said, you would actually think that it's quite hard to travel here. You would think that people don't really speak English and they're not prepared to deal with tourists. Surprisingly, it was really easy. Because there aren't that many people who come who are native English speakers, the, the locals who do speak English get really excited to talk to us. So almost everywhere we go, we find like the one or the two people around who speak English and they will automatically come up and talk to us and try to help us and explain where to go. It's really, really nice. If you are crossing the border from Thailand to Myanmar, it is inevitable that you come to the way. We kind of thought it was just like a one night stop, nothing super spectacular. When we got here, we realized it actually was pretty amazing. We decided to stay another day than we originally planned. And I would say that if you do come to the south of Myanmar, Da Wei is 10 out of 10, an amazing destination. Thanks for the feedback you guys left on our previous videos. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe and tune into our next video. Bye Thanks, guys. guys.